and Dr. Zach Williams and Flat Creek Baptist Church as we dive deeper into God's Word in this podcast titled New Horizons. Thank you so much for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams, pastor of Flat Creek Baptist Church here in Gainesville, Georgia, for another episode of New Horizons. As I say to you every time we meet together, this is the greatest joy of my life to be able to bring God's Word to you. I hope it's a great blessing to you, and I hope that each and every day uh, you are taking time to get in God's Word, and if nothing else, I hope that these devotionals are just creating a deeper love for God and His Word in your heart. Yesterday, I I mentioned to you the importance of praying for the upcoming election and praying for whoever is voted in to be the next president of the United States of America. And indeed, friends, we need to pray. We need to pray. Now, as we look back at the events of last week, when we looked at that just crazy debate that took place between the two candidates, and then we began to look at all the news media outlets and everything that's being said uh, in, in, uh, on the back side of the debate, and even uh, just every day, all the different things that are taking place uh, surrounding this election, as well as all the current events of the day, earthquakes and hurricanes and wildfires and riots and race wars and just all these things going on. It is easy sometimes for us to think, what, like, is there any hope? Is there anything right now um, that that I can cling to in the midst of such a chaotic time? And and then what happens after the election? Uh, Because people right now are saying, you know, depending on who wins, there is going to be chaos from either side that's going to just erupt in our streets. And so it's very easy for us to begin to feel this way in our hearts. I want us today to go to the book of Isaiah, chapter number 6. And I want us to just look at the first three verses of Scripture. As we come to this passage, we'll look here in verse number 1 of Isaiah 6. And it says, In the year that King Uzziah died. So here is Isaiah the prophet. King Uzziah had been king for 50 years. Three years. Can you imagine living in a time where a king has been in control on the throne for 53 years? There are some people who were born in this day. King Uzziah is the only king they had ever known. There were other people who were alive when he became king, and he had been king now for all these years, and he was the only king that they knew. And now the king has died. You can imagine that there would be a sense of uncertainty, a sense of chaos. What's next? Who's going to come to the throne? What's the military going to do? There's there's things going on in the streets. There's rumors swirling everywhere. What is going to happen? What is going to take place next? And then in that moment, Isaiah the prophet speaks. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, and his robe filled the temple. And seraphim were standing above him. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. His glory fills the whole earth. Friends, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of uncertainty, in the midst of a time that Uzziah and the children of Israel and the Jewish people did not know what was coming next, Isaiah looked up and he saw God seated on the throne. And Isaiah was reminded at that moment, human kings come and go, but the everlasting eternal king in heaven lives forever. And although things on this earth might get bad, and although things on this earth might be in turmoil and might be chaotic, there is one seated on the throne 
the sovereign God of the universe. Therefore, I need not fear. Therefore, I need not be dismayed. Therefore, my heart must not be troubled. Therefore, I can have peace. Why? Because God is on the throne. Friends, that is a word for us today in the midst of this wicked, perverse, and crooked generation. As we think about everything that's going on, the chaos of debates, uh, the, the, the craziness of political campaigns, riots, and natural disasters, um, even, even just in your own personal life, bills are going unpaid. There's a sickness that is coming to your family that you were not expecting. Your car is broken down and now you're having to walk to work. Your church is going through a fight and people are divided and the church is threatening to split up. Somebody in your family that's a patriarch or matriarch has died and you're thinking to yourself, where do I turn to next? How Will I go on in the midst of all this trouble, in the midst of all this calamity, in the midst of all this turmoil? In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne. Friends, right now, as we speak, the same God that Isaiah saw all those years ago is still seated on the throne this morning. He has not moved. He will never move. What he was a billion years ago, he is today. And what he is today, he'll be a billion years from now. And you can trust in him and you can trust in his heart. And you can trust who he is and you can trust his love and you can trust his plan and purpose for your life. So I encourage you today to just look up and see him seated there. See him on the throne of glory and worship. Friends, I love you. I appreciate you tuning in each and every day. And I hope today has been a great blessing to you. See you tomorrow.